everyone. Matt here, PaulOffshoreFishing.com. Here to bring you a good rigging video. I'm going to show you this evening how I tie a live bait rig using a haywire twist. It's the end of February here. March is coming up. Spring's right around the corner. I'm excited. I hope this will bring you and get you in the mood for the upcoming fishing season. Let me know if I don't address anything. Put a comment below. Let me know. If there's something you see me doing wrong or got a suggestion, put it in there too. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell uh, button and uh, to notify you of any upcoming videos. Enjoy the episode. Thank you. Alright, on this episode of Rigging Night, or however you want to call it, I'm going to put together a live bait rig. Uh, what I got up here is just 44 pound of wire, solid stainless wire in the brown. And I got about a 12 to 14 inch piece there, 100 pound swivel, and two number four treble hooks. And these are four, not four all. And then I have just a little uh, duster. I believe it is a boom. So let's get started. Um, I don't know if I'm doing it backwards. I tend to work my way to the back to the front on this. I got a little haywire twister it's a little bit big for this wire i'm using but it still is uh makes it a little bit faster and i uh, gotta make sure it's all set up right and i'm gonna thread it in around through my eye my treble and loop it back in my tw hey, twister and uh, these treble hooks are fun to work with. If anybody's worked with them, they know what I mean. But I've got a twister, I'll get back center. And like I said, we're gonna do a couple of haywire twists. Let me get started and go around about four times. All right, we get it out of there. Uh, let's do one more. All right, I'll come up and pop this up 90. And we're going to do about three barrels. And we're done. Um, that's not a bad wrap. Uh, it's not as clean as the store-bought ones, but I think they're all machined. And what I typically do on this end, is I go here, whoa, that's dirty. Let's clip that tag down tight. And get it centered. Um, there's still a little bit there. Um, you can twist those off. Um, however, time-wise, it's, uh, oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, from a time standpoint, it's a whole lot easier to clip it, except, especially on that end, because I'm not, I mean, that's, that's all I want to do there. Um, when we do the actual three-foot run a liter, it's going to, become more critical because the tag when you clip it it's going to affect how the duster runs down so we'll have to tag that and I'll keep we'll keep getting poked and it's a little bit of an art to get the muscle memory in line but you make Oh. 
Let's see, can we do get one more out of it? That's good enough. Flip that up to 90. Get it back at the top. And roll it. The one thing, the problem I got with the this rig thing, I'm fidgeting with it. This uh, twister is for like number nine wire, and I'm using number five. So it gets stuck down in part because the diameter is so much smaller. But uh, I got to kind of keep working it around. It went good the first time. Oh, there it goes. All right. And that is three. I don't know if you can see it. That's bear wraps. Now to take this off, you twist it and come off. All right, there is my set of trailers. And I want to clip that down again I said on the trailer end the tag we leave is not as critical as this next section all right that, that's gonna be our trailer hook and our main hook and if I can get this piece of here's a piece of three foot of wire and this is what's going to go to our fishing line when we get done but i'm i'm messing up again i need to reset my twist hey why twister hey wire twister yep, I'm about stuck myself get it back in here and stuck myself again one thing you got to watch out for on treble hooks now keep in mind these are clean trebles um, one good thing about rigging rigs like this yourself that uh, you're not trying to save every rig you use uh, that's one of the problems I mean I used to have that before I knew how to make them you know it's expensive going to the tackle shop and buying the pre-rigged ones. Uh, but now that I figure, know that I can make my own. And uh, it's relatively simple. I mean, like I said, in probably five minutes, I got most of the rig made. And I can change up the colors. Don't get wrong. It's one of those things. It takes time. But, uh. It's February. There's not much fishing going on around here anyways. I mean, my boat's not, I mean, you could be trout fishing, which I love trout. I mean, you're wrong, but my boat's set up for offshore. And there's some days not that great for trout. I don't have a trolling motor, so it's kind of hard to sneak up on them. But there you go. There's my couple of barrel twist on my haywire twist all right now you do is kink it down like that you're tagging like that and you make a crank and you turn it oh come on it's supposed to go ahead and snap on off but it's twisting And that's why I get fed up and just clip it with the pliers, which I'm probably going to have to end up doing anyways. Or else this video is going to go way on too long of me just twisting a piece of wire. So let's go ahead and inspect it and make sure I'm not clipping the wire. That's pretty d darn close. All right. You're going to go back up here to the tag in. And we're going to go ahead and throw our duster, skirt, whatever you want to call it, down. And 
there it is and then the last thing i'll put on is the swivel now this is just a 100 pound uh bill fisher swivel and i'm messing up again i need to thread it on my twister Oop. you guys didn't see that i just can't see what the way the lock to shadow is put it back in through there get started pinch it down and put some hay wires on it and one of the things with this little swivel it's trying to spin on me so i could just regroup go back to spinning and I'll you know, just try to do five twist, kink it up, go back on my twister, and uh, put some barrel wraps on it. And I do about three or four. I mean, there's no real method I have. I said I, I'm not a professional fisherman by any means. I haven't lost any yet based on this method. Now no one's perfect. Um, I would say if I was probably king mackerel fishing in a tournament or whatnot, I'd probably have a little bit heavier duty wire and try to make sure keep everything perfect. But for the recreational fishing that I do, I mean, it tends to work. So, and there you have it. Um, just a quick, simple king mackerel rig. And like I said, I'll use it one time. As cheap as it is, I'll probably st I'll save the duster, clip off the, the treble hooks, keep the duster and throw everything away and re-rig it. Um, I may try to keep the swivel. We'll see. But uh, I do know, you know, they'll rust out as well as anything else so or not necessarily rust out but corrode i hope uh this video was informal or informational and you got a lot out of it uh i hope so say one day i'll have a little better setup uh to record things like this but uh comment below let me know what you think anything i could improve on uh, hope it like i said i hope everything everybody's learned something out of this video but there you go there's a quick and easy king mackerel rig